G'day guys! So, well, I've been clearly using my X20 a bit recently and I, I guess some of the things that um, I've been trying to do are really to get Crossfire support working. And um, I'm sure you'll know from past videos, I've got this lovely little stand and all sorts that I've got going on here, which sits on there. I've made a Crossfire module. But the problem is that the X20 here, and I'm using here, you can see I've got Ethos up and running, but there's no telemetry. And the only connection that I have here is a PPM connection. Currently, you can see here, I'll hold up the camera, PPM 8 channel, which is being used. Um, and that's because I'm only sending eight channels by PPM. But um, I don't really want to use PPM on my X20. So um, how do we get Crossfire to work on the X20? Well, I'm gonna, with a little push of a button, show you something magical. So, two clicks, boom, and I boot it up, and look on the back of this. I'm running CSRF V2 on my tandem. But how did I do that? Well, it's like everything, there's a bit of compromise, but um, it's a compromise which I personally am prepared to make for the few models that I have which run Crossfire. But it's not for everybody. So um, first things first, I'm gonna power this off and I'll put this up to the camera so it can actually be seen. Hopefully we'll have some focus on this. And there we go. What you notice, this did not boot up Ethos. What I've actually booted up here is something called ER Sky TX. Now, ER Sky TX is a distribution. It, it was. It actually goes back a really, really long way, right to the roots of our favorite Open TX. So, um, you know, back back in the day, there was the Turnergy 9X radio, and um, there there was a chap. Um, Thus, I think his name was. It was a German chap, I believe, or maybe Austria, that part of the world. But um, he produced an operating system called TH9X, which worked on the Turnergy 9X. And then um, along came a chap called Erez Raviv, and he created EO9X. And then um, EO9X gathered loads of developers. And um, one of those developers was Mike Blanford, and another developer was Bertrand Songus. And... Um, for, for those of who kind of follow these things, well, Bertrand went off to create OpenTX, and, well, Mike created EOSKYTX, I believe it's called, which is a far lesser known firmware. But EOSKYTX does actually run on things like the Turnergy 9X, your Radio Master Jumper, most of the FreeSky radios. It's, it's kind of essentially an alternative to OpenTX. Um, so I, I guess with that bit of background, it's a case of understanding there is a shared lineage. There's there's a kind of a shared history to both ER Sky TX and OpenTX. So there are similarities, but they are not quite the same, and and they've kind of gone in different paths. So shared ancestry. That, that's what's the best way of looking at it. But um, well, Mike is a fantastic developer. He's a guy who can kind of do stuff which I can only dream of doing myself. But um, he's managed to make a port of his ER Sky TX work functionally. And I'll say functionally because it's not perfect yet, but um, it's working on the X20. And um, he's a clever guy too. And what he's actually done here is he's made it so you can dual boot ethos and ER Sky TX, so you don't have to lose all your models and all those settings. So I'll actually show you what happens if I turn off ER Sky TX, and if we look at the screen over here, if I hold down my return button and I power the radio up, it boots into Ethos. Now at that point, if I turned it off, any time I power the radio up, will boot into Ethos. But if I decided at that point that I wanted to boot up an ER Sky TX for my um, CSRF support or CRSF support. I hold down the return button again. I power up. Whoa, I'll press and hold. Oh no, I messed it all up by releasing the button too soon. I'll try this again. Turn it off. Yeah, hold the return button. Press and hold. Boom. And I'm into ER Sky TX. Now, <laughs> I think it's fair to say this is a pre release. 
enough is kind of working that you could happily run a crossfire system but don't expect the full feature set that you've got with ethos at the moment you know you've got one guy doing work at his own pace it will take as long as it takes however we can click on menu and you can see i've got a basic menu i can choose a model i've actually only got one model in there i can edit a model and I can configure all these things. And most importantly, I can go into protocol and I can choose it as an external as being crossfire. But I've also got a multi-protocol module works, XJT, PPM. You know, the guts of it works. Touch screen is just coming in. You know, so it, it's functionally, it's there. You know, and I can obviously, I, I guess model mixes are quite key. As you'll see if I go into the mixer page, Look at the mixers. This is very open TX-ish in terms of how you have your channels. You can insert mixers and you can do these things. And you've also got full kind of the telemetry going backwards and forwards and doing its thing. So what does this mean to us as sort of end users? Well, if you are the type of person who wants to fly the X-20, you love the X-20, but you are being held back by the lack of well, CRSF as a protocol, because I can't really call it Crossfire anymore, because quite simply, Immersion RC Ghost supports the CRSF protocol, which means it would work on the X20, and all of the Express LRS system uses the same protocol. So the end result is, if you wanted to use Express LRS or Ghost or Crossfire, you could happily get this all working on your X20 with dual boot. That's pretty fantastic. It, it really is quite cool. Um, and at least what it does do is it shows us that the hardware in the X20 is capable of running the Crossfire protocol. Um, you know, clearly at the moment it's, it's on the pipeline for Ethos. I can't wait for it to be there. And I think given the choice, I would prefer personally to use Ethos as the operating system you know, and, and I, I think for all of my line and sight models, I will. But I do have some models which I fly with Crossfire. And quite simply, I want telemetry. It's as simple as that. I want proper low latency telemetry so I can fly things well. Well, get one of those or four. Like this. How am I going to fly that with a PPM link? Well, I can, but it's a bit rubbish. So um, the, long, the long and short of it is that I can dual boot... And I can bring up a full Crossfire stack and I have one radio. It's not a big hardship to do that and it's something different to play with. So, um, yeah, there you go, guys. This is something completely different. Um, I will plug a link through and you can actually see it on the screen over here. It is a page on OpenRC forums, which um, you probably notice there's loads of my videos on it. And that's because I'm the chap who does all the web hosting for this. So, um... That, that's my little way of promoting. But um, yeah, so there's a page on um, OpenRC forums that Mike has where if you follow the instructions, it's very, very simple. He's got downloadable firmwares and just literally follow the instructions to the letter. It's not hard. Um, what I am going to do reasonably soon, I have got um, an X20 on the way which um, is destined for another project. It's going to be a tray radio conversion that I'm doing, which will follow up at some point soon. But I'm going to run through the process and I will do a video to the dot following these instructions so that you guys can actually see how this all gets done. Um, and I think that if you get to see how it all works, maybe you'll kind of say, well, it's not that hard. Let me try it. And um, maybe you'll like it. Maybe you'll like it more than Ethos. I don't know. But um, either way, I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> Guys, enjoy your day. Cheers.